Uh, currently on top of La Palma. This is the highest peak of La Palma. This is Roque de los Muchachos. It's where all the telescopes are, the observatories. You can see a few of the telescopes in the back there. Still with Adrian, he's just about catching up because he's carrying about a hundred kilos. <laughs> we did it! Got it but, woo! But this is shaping up to be wow. the best night of Astro we've ever had. This oh. is the first night that I've been here, there's no wind. The wind has been absolutely relentless. And there's just so much in stock, oh, starting with the belt of Venus, then Earth the shadow. Is so Venus is going to be over there with the zodiacal light. Then we'll have Jupiter yeah, popping up in the south, what? followed by the Milky Way core. Then Mars <laughs> is going to be popping up. It's probably going to be a lot of green air glow in the sky. Hopefully we get some cheeky meteors. This is going to be a hell of a night. Oh man. So you can drive up to this spot. But you have to drive through all the telescopes, so they close the road at 8 o'clock. You can't drive around this place, obviously. They don't want car headlights when uh, when they're using the scope. So we've had a hike up here. It's about four kilometers from sort of down there. From the other side of those telescopes. <laughs> Check out how much stuff Adrian's got. <laughs> Dude. No time to rest. <laughs> Gotta get this sunset, man. <laughs> Jeez. I'm all sweaty and all, all gross, but you know, life is good. Since it's just beautiful. And uh, I gotta. I gotta set up my cameras <laughs> as fast as possible. Man, we're crazy. I'm telling you, astrophotographer is definitely not for the faint hearted. And, uh, I mean, Alan can definitely confirm. <laughs> um, it's always worth it. <laughs> you gotta put the effort in, man. Yeah. Ah, check out the cloud rolling off the mountains down there. Oh, man. The views here are insane. Ah, you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. So starting the astro night with the belt of Venus, you can just see that Tenerife over there, Mount Tidy, is in the shadow of La Palma. It's insane. <laughs> you can see the cloud rolling over the caldera there. Belt of Venus is coming up. Oh, the fun is only just beginning. <laughs> okay. It's possible my car over the barrier, eh? Uh -huh. For you. Go to Jukaris, uh -huh. but not here. Okay. Disaster. Huh? Disaster. <laughs> Fuck. Knew it. Fuck. Ah. Wait, so you know what? Um, we're gonna hike back to that uh, behind the. Uh, yeah. Uh, and we'll stay there. <sighs> Dang it. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> this is gonna be like the best night ever. And now it's like ah. In jeopardy. In grave, grave death, jeopardy. <laughs> Damn it, plan B. <laughs> On this, this is the problem. So, is it possible for you to drop us off at the uh, antenna because our car. Jukari is in the uh, uh, Mirador yeah, Las Degolladas. Uh, uh, at uh, Pico de Nuevo, Nuevos. No, 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 it's not that far. Huh? No. Mas? Mirador. Mirador. Uh -huh. okay. It's possible in my car uh, to car. Okay. If, you can, if you can drive us to that uh, telescope and then we walk down to, because our car are just... Why not? Down the telescope is yeah. possible. Yeah. Eh? Not yeah. possible here. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. It's possible for down this, this uh, telescope. Ah, okay. Oh, perfect. E down the telescope, so, it's possible to carry it here. Yeah. Ah, okay. So it's just uh, it's just this mountain. It's yes, but the, the, the telescope is is down. Yeah. Is the lamp? Is the person for here? Is the problem? Uh, okay. All right. That's okay. That's okay. No worries. <laughs> Thanks.
so I guess we can, uh, we can get some shots over it. Thank you so much, man. Oh, bless her, yeah? Right, well, it could be worse. Definitely could be worse. Yeah. Could be. You're about to walk out now. Could have been like... <laughs> kicked in the ass. You guys should get the F out. Yeah. <laughs> and the popo could have come. And we could have been in jail. Um, you know. I don't think it's going to happen, but... Well, we've got Jupiter. We've got Jupiter and the Isaac Newton telescope. He left us in like a sneaky little spot. Fair play to him. He hooked us up as best as he could. Definitely could have been a lot worse. Plan B. A7S2 now hooked up to do star trails with the Sigma 40mm. I've got it powered from a Anchor USB battery pack so they can go for hours and hours and hours. <coughs> and I've also got a cool lens heater um, plugged into the same Anchor battery. That's going to keep the lens nice and warm just in case it gets cold enough for dew to start forming on the lens. Um, I don't think it's going to happen, but just in case, there's nothing worse than something getting ruined by uh, dew on the lens, fog on the lens, so just to be safe. Um, I've shot four foreground exposures, 30 seconds, f2.8. Um, I'm going to stack those for a little bit of noise reduction. Now I'm going to drop the ISO to, I don't know, 800 maybe, maybe 1600. And yeah, just going to be doing f2.8 30 second exposures using the time lapse app in the a7s2 um, because at the moment I can't plug an intervalometer in because the uh, the anchor battery pack is in there. Um, and yeah, I'm probably just going to leave that running for about five to six hours. Um, but that's the camera I use for B-roll for the vlog. So the B-roll and the, the and the footage for this vlog is about to get pretty crap. But um, yeah, it'll be my first star trail here. I need to do one at least before I leave, so Let's see how this turns out. Okay, so with the A7S II doing the star trails, I haven't really done any B-roll or any vlog filming. I've just been playing with my A7 III. And yeah, it's just been a really incredible night. At first I stuck it on the star tracker and did a 50 mil tracked panorama of the Milky Way core when it was nice and low on the horizon. Then I turned the tracker off so I could get some foreground exposures. It looks really nice in camera. Hopefully it turns out as good as it looks in camera. Um, after that, I took a pretty similar panorama, but using the 24mm Samyang lens, the f1.4. This time stretching a bit wider, getting a bit more of the scene in. And that also looked pretty cool, so I hope that stitches together nicely. Um, after that, uh, I grabbed a couple of shots of the telescopes um, that turned out pretty cool so can you just uh, really quickly explain a bit what you're doing so I 
illegally shooting a telescope. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just a, a very basic shot, to be honest. It's a single shot with a 24mm lens. Um, just got the telescope like bang in the middle of the frame because I want the telescope to be just nice and dominant. And then we just got the Cygnus region of the Milky Way as a backdrop. Yeah, fuck, it just looks stunning. <laughs> Thank you. The Cygnus region is one of my, I mean, everyone loves the Milky Way core, but I, I love the Cygnus region of the Milky Way. Um, it's such a beautiful area. I think it needs a bit more attention, even from myself. I might have to take a few more photos during this trip. All right, so I've got this pretty nice composition with the Isaac Newton telescope. And then we've got Venus over there. You should be able to see it in the video. And then the zodiacal light streaming up into the top left corner. <coughs> I'm shooting on the A7 III. The Sigma 40mm f1.8 art lens just to get that nice wide angle to squeeze the telescope because we're quite close to it and just taking 16 exposures I'll put the settings up on the screen I'm going to take 16 exposures so I can do a bit of stacking for noise reduction and get a nice clean image How was your night? I was, uh, man, that was a really good night. Um, awesome, we got uh, most of the shots that we wanted, so uh, perfect night again under the Milky Way, under the stars, No, almost no wind. A little bit of uh, chilly breeze, but you know, uh, nothing major, so uh, um, got the Milky Way moving a whole, um, across the whole uh, scenery here and uh, we got the telescopes which is uh, what we came up for and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, basically that's it. And yeah going back to exactly what we were talking about yesterday when I interviewed Adrian you go out with a plan, shit goes wrong, and you end up having to improvise, and you end up with uh, some shots you could never even have dreamed of. So, I mean, even though we got kicked out of uh, Rockets de los Muchachos, um, it still ended up being the most perfect night. Like, we literally had everything from the belt of Venus. He doesn't believe me, it's called the belt of Venus. <laughs> belt of Venus, Earth shadow, Venus, zodiacal light, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, Milky Way, a few meteors. Whew. From dusk till dawn, just an absolutely perfect night of astrophotography. Incredible.